Today, we're gonna to drive into the center of London. And as you all know, driving in London is very, very expensive. But if Sadiq Khan remains as mayor, it'll be even more so. Let's find out just how much. What I'm doing today is driving from Brentwood to the centre of London to see how many of Sadiq Khan's taxes we rack up. So we're now just crossing the border into London. Boom, £5.50, first one. This £5.50 charge applies to anyone who wants to cross the border into London. So that's family, friends, customers, including tourists as well. It means if you run a business in London, football is about to if, of course, we let Sadiq Khan be elected. We are now just approaching the North Circular Road, and boom, Sadiq Khan has taken another 12 pounds in taxes. So he expanded over the emission zone, so that means you'll be asked to pay 12 pounds 50 for your car not compliant. And, of course, it's the poorest people and small businesses that don't have to be big. In order to expand the ultra emission zone, there's going to have to be cameras on every corner. So we're now just crossing the border into the centre of London. Boom. Just crossed into the congestion charging zone. That's £15. Seven days a week up to 10 p.m. All of these charges mean it's cost £33 for me to drive into London. Imagine you're a kid or a plug. It's £33 before you have any money to take home. All of this when we need to get London moving. So as mayor, I will be reducing or removing all of these charges. We need to rebuild our economy save people's jobs, get people back to work. What does being Mayor of London mean to me? I, what I hope it does is show other people from any background, any diverse background, that we can do it. What I care about is people, and I want people to live independent lives. 